Welcome back guys. We're out here again in the western New York woods. It is a beautiful afternoon in the middle of October and we're out here hunting for some true turkey tail, Tremetius versicolor, and that's what this video is all about. I want to show you guys how to identify true turkey tail and also how to identify the two species that I commonly find that look very similar. Um, a lot of people think that turkey tail is just like everywhere and it is pretty common but uh, it's not as common as a lot of people think it is because they identify these other species of false turkey tail as true turkey tail. So the two species of false turkey tail, what we call false turkey tail that I'm going to show you guys today, I'll flash the uh, scientific names up here on the screen and I'll also try to pronounce them in the order of appearance is uh, Tricaptum albiatinum and uh, Sterium ostrea. So hopefully we'll be able to find both of them. I'll be able to show you guys some examples and we'll also be able to find some true turkey tail or Trimedes versicolor as well. A turkey tail is too woody to be edible if you're not familiar with it, um, but it has a ton of really awesome medicinal qualities. People typically brew it into tea or tincture and use it medicinally. So it's a uh, beautiful afternoon. We have a few hours of light left here and we'll go take a look, see what we can find. So we have some lovely uh, false turkey tail here on this, I believe this is a fallen maple tree. And it's actually sharing the tree with some uh, artist conch growing here, some Ganoderma aplanatum. But uh, so this is one common species of false turkey tail that I find here in western New York. And you can see it's kind of uh, banded on top, looks really similar to true turkey tail. But the color is more of a creamy I would say like a creamy white color on top tannish and then on the edges it has a little bit of a purple hue to it I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but out on the outer edges there's a little bit of a up here you can see it a little better on these younger ones it's a little bit of a purplish hue on the outer edge of the cap so this one right here that one you can see it on see the purplish hue on it pretty well there and the other uh, identifying characteristic that can tip you off for sure that this is false turkey tail is the uh, the underneath surface of the mushroom so you can see here um, it's very coarse these are almost like teeth it looks like on this and this is not at all what true turkey tail looks like true turkey tail will have a smooth creamy white surface underneath when it's fresh and it has tiny minute pores that are barely visible with the naked eye. It almost looks like tiny little pinpricks. Um, but it really looks like a smooth surface on the true turkey tail, Trimedes versicolor. Whereas on this false turkey tail, um, you get, it looks kind of spiny, almost like teeth. So those are two dead giveaways. And uh, this is definitely false turkey tail. So I'm going to keep walking. the second species of mushroom that's commonly mistaken for turkey tail um, again this looks really similar on top but this is actually again this is false turkey tail this is not true Trimedes versicolor and again our tip off is going to be the underneath of the cap so again we're banded nice and banded on top here we have a light colored outer growth edge which is the same with versicolor but if we pick one of these guys off here and turn it over it's kind of dirty but you can see the uh, underneath of the cap is colored up similarly to the top it has the uh, orangish brown tones and a lot of times the underneath surface is banded as well and so again with true versicolor this bottom edge of the cap is going to be creamy white and smooth with just very minute pores so this is the second species I find commonly in the western New York woods here that is also mistaken for turkey tail. Again, here's another log of the uh, last species we were looking at. And uh, you can see it's a better example here of the, uh, get it to focus there, sort of banded underneath and also on top, more strongly so on top but uh, definitely not uniform underneath, so that's a dead giveaway, false turkey tail. All 
our persistence has been rewarded. We have finally found some nice Tremedes Versicolor here. Some true turkey tail. And again, show you guys the difference I spoke about before. Um, we're nice and banded on top there. But uh, when you pick these guys, which can be easier said than done sometimes, we'll look at the underneath surface here. So nice smooth creamy white you can see those minute tiny little pores like I said they look like pin pricks and this is nice and fresh still growing you can tell it's still growing by the uh, the lighter colored outer edge uh, but this is perfectly good to pick at this point and use in your medicinal tea or tincture again here these are a little further along but nice and white creamy even underneath so that's True Tremedes Versicolor right there. Get picking. If you're out hunting for turkey tail, this is what you're looking for right here. This is a mother load tree. It's just a uh, small tree, probably an ash, that uh, broke off. And it's leaning over, and it's just completely loaded with true turkey tail here. This stuff's nice and mature. It's going to pick easy because it's dead wood. Um, I'll pick one here. See it's nice, again nice and creamy white with minute pores underneath. So that is our target species. And uh, the way I've always picked these, I've tried a lot of different ways, but the best way is just to kind of grab and just kind of twist and rip, rip them off. There's really no real easy way to do it. You'll get a really good finger exercise by the end of the day. If you're picking a lot of these, but uh, let me know if you guys have a trick uh, how you pick them if you have a trick to picking these guys but I've always just used uh, thumb power I've been ripping away at these for about 15 minutes now and obviously I didn't get them all but I got a lot of the bigger clusters and we'll leave the rest on the tree let them spread their spores throughout the woods because uh, especially this piece of woods here they have a lot of competition there's a lot of false turkey tail in here so we'll leave some on the tree we're out of time and we'll be back again